Hey, good morning, good morning, good morning. This is Pastor Eric Brown with Daily Manor for your soul. Happy Saturday to you. I pray the Lord is blessing you real good right now. Look, just want to bring you a word of encouragement, something to help you along your way. And today that word is push past the pain. Uh, can I tell you, life will come at you fast. Life will come at you hard. Sometimes life will leave you in despair or and feeling in a world of hurt. Uh, but I'm here to tell you that despite what it looks like, despite what it feels like, you got to learn to push beyond and push past the pain. Uh, can I tell you, it reminds me of David over there in 1 Samuel chapter 30. David and his group of mighty men have been on a mission. And they, when they come back to their camp at Ziklag, they find that their camp has been looted, robbed, and burned. They find that the women and children have been taken captive and they are left in utter despair. Oh, can I tell you, there is some weeping going on. Every one of the men, including David, is crying until they can cry no more. All oh, for their, 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 the women are gone. The children are gone. Their, their camp is burned. How do you feel when you're going out trying to help somebody else and come back and find your own place in ruins? And that's what they were facing. And, and, but after after the tears stopped and after they could cry no more, then they turned into anger. The hurt turned into anger. The pain turned into anger and it was directed at David. They looked at David, their leader. They looked at David, the one that had rescued them and gave them a place to belong. They looked at David and wanted to stone David. Well, I'm here to tell you in the midst of that situation, in the midst of all of that pain, in the midst of everything that was going on, David began to push. Oh, David began to push to get past that pain. Oh, David began to pray until something happened. David began to praise until something happened. Oh, and when and what happened was that David was encouraged in the Lord. See, I believe that, that when we learn to pray uh, uh, unto God with fervor and intensity, when we learn to pray unto God with purpose, and we be, and we learn to praise him with all that we have, uh, we can... Uh, we can usher ourselves from, from, from one place to another in the spirit. See, see, at first David was in pain and despair, uh, but then all of a sudden through praise and prayer, he found himself, he found himself in a place in a place of encouragement with, with the Lord. He found himself in a place of hope with the Lord. He was no longer in despair, but he lifted up his eyes to the hills from which cometh his help. He understood that his help came from from the Lord. And when he got into that place where he, where he could worship, now he was in a place that he could get the revelation from God. Oh, I'm, I'm here to tell you, David called for the ephod. He called for his prayer clothes. He called for his revelation clothes. And when he went before the Lord and said, Lord, what should I do? Should I pursue? And the word of the Lord came unto him and said, Pursue, for thou shalt recover it all. Can I tell you, for some people, uh, they hear a word from God and it's time to think about it. It's time to drag their feet. But, th but that's not what David did. When David got that word from the Lord, David quickly went into action. I, he quickly got his men together. He quickly began to explain to them what was going on. Even though they were in a place of pain, they were going to push beyond the pain and they were going to pursue because God said, oh, what thus saith the Lord, because God said, you shall pursue it all. You shall recover it all when you pursue. You shall recover it all because God said it. See, not what your friends say, not what other folks say, not even what you say, but what does the Lord say? And God said, go get it because it's yours. Oh, I want somebody to get that today. Go get it because it's yours. Push beyond the pain. You might be in a situation right now where you, where you feel like all is lost, all hope is lost but look if you're feeling hopeless it's because you're not praying i'm here to tell you that uh and i don't mean praying a weak prayer but i mean praying an exhilarating prayer of thankfulness unto god of praise unto god of giving of turning it over to god giving him all your problems all your troubles and the lord will help you push beyond the pain because see because see the enemy wants to leave you in that place of pain the enemy wants to leave you in that place of despair but god wants to take you to that place of victory and the victory is always beyond the pain push beyond the pain you'll see the victory and you'll see the, the hand of the Lord work mightily in your life. Look, I want you to have a great day, awesome day, a blessed day. Be encouraged in the Lord. You're coming through this as long as you remember to push past the pain. Have an awesome day. Peace.